Hey everybody, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, gonna try out the uh, power pack, and uh, I have to hook the positive wire on, and then I'll show you what's going on on the display, how this new add-on is gonna work, and I did find my connector from Primo. Um, this is a this is what these things look like um, Cigarette plugs this one is a dual port 3.1 amp, so that's pretty impressive That's really impressive so and there's the brand name This was also part of his gift pack, so I got to hook up this positive wire To the power pack. I got the negative hooked up already Okay, that's hooked up there. Now, I will throw this switch in the back, and then you guys should be able to see my display. Here, I'll kind of angle it up if I can. So, that's better. Think. So I'll throw the switch, but red to red, black to black, negative, positive, right? Hopefully you guys can see that all right. Here, I'll move the camera a bit. Okay, so it says the um, battery is at 14 volts. And apparently this load is hooked up and on. So I'm gonna hook, plug this plug in here. And so that load is, uh, that, that guy's plugged in. Now I need a load for this. So I'm gonna go grab that light and uh, show you how to run this thing. All right, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, guys, back here. I have the LED light bulb. And I'm going to tuck that right up here, if it'll stay. Actually, I'll feed the USB wire through. Here, I'll zoom out so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm bringing the wire through for the light. So it kind of stays there so you can see that. And this one has a switch. So here's the USB cord. We're going to plug this guy in right there and as you can tell the light is on and I am going to shut off the <coughs> light in the room and now the LED which is really nice is powering the load now if you guys remember if you watch my other video whoops see how the the bars are moving towards the load. One, two, three, four. So that just means power is going into the load. And remember, right now it is nighttime, so I'm not having solar coming in on the other end here to feed the battery. So right now the um, light is going to drain the battery down um, and then I'll have to of course recharge it via the Sun or the main power supply I'd like to do it by the Sun but we've had some nasty overcast days lately and I've been so busy with work that I've been really crappy on the videos lately for you guys I'm sure you've noticed 
And I'm pre I, I gotta apologize for that. But, like I say, um, this light is slowly bringing the voltage down. And actually, when it gets, um, actually, it won't, it won't shut off until, uh, the battery reaches 11 volts. And that would be pretty rough on a battery. Um, as you can see, it's fully charged there. But actually, look, it just lost a bar on the graph. So, that light does draw a lot of power. Um, but like I said, um, it's lighting up the whole room pretty much and it does throw off a little bit of heat after it's been on for a while though, of course, it doesn't start throwing it off until, you know, it's ran for a little bit, warms up. So that's my load guys. And actually this button here I can control it with so if I click this off we should it should shut off and there it goes now all you see is my camera light so if I click this back on there it goes so you can also program this load side on this charge controller like I mentioned a million times before on different timers and set it up where it turns off earlier than 11 volts so it doesn't hurt the battery. So you can put any type of 12 volt load on here within reason. You don't want it to suck your battery down really bad. But um, you know, but uh, this one, this one's a little bit of a power hog I gotta admit. But, hey, not too bad at all, considering it gives you a tiny bit of heat and some light. So let's say, let's say there's no electricity, you don't have any um, heating options other than making a bonfire. And that's pretty, it's going to be pretty tough to make a bonfire in your house, guys. So you, you take that little light bulb with you underneath your covers like I did and that sucker will actually keep you warm under there because it does throw off heat just keep your eyes shut because obviously it's going to give you some light as well but this is just to show you an example of what this load side of the charge controller is so this is the menu button this is your basically your um option button like turning stuff higher and lower actually it only goes one direction so it'll get to the point where it'll just reset back to the lowest setting and then your loads load button so this is what show that's I'm kind of showing you the function of this charge controller and uh, there's the model number there for this type it'll also do 24 volt so if you hooked your panels up and batteries in a 24 volt 24 volt configuration um, you could do it that way as well but for now I'm just doing 12 volt and that's just off the cigarette plug add-on guys right there I'll see if that thing's getting warm sometimes they do this one not at all dead cold so I'm gonna shut down for now guys um, I want to do a test as well on this um, this battery pack on just running my small off-grid TV to see how many hours I get out of that and then once this battery pack is totally dead um, I want to bring that outside and video with you guys to see how quickly the battery pack will recharge via the sun now you guys saw how fast it did from a only a minimum uh, drain on the battery 
um, I want to see how much how many amps will go into that battery and how quickly because um, that's what everybody is kind of wanting to see next but I like I say um, when I get some time guys I will do that and uh, yeah this this uh, light has drained my uh, my battery down to 13.1 volt already and now 13 volt so that sucker that light up there draws a lot and that's probably why now that's warm now guys right now that is a warm LED people who don't get it normally LEDs are cold but this one throws the heat for whatever reason but when it does that you're losing obviously you're losing the efficiency of the light uh, via the heat that's being generated that's wasted energy so it's kind of a catch-22 with that light bulb there but I'm sure you could hook up any other type of LED and run it for days and not have a drain like this and I'll do that I have an LED light strip that I can hook up that's 12 volt I'll show you guys that later and uh, yeah but my camera battery is now dying and I should charge it up maybe even via the new add-on here guys 3.1 amp I'll charge this camera battery right here so that's it for this video I'll tell you how my camera charges via this and uh, that's it for now guys more videos to come